All right, guys, and welcome back to the Sky Factory server. We... Hey, what's up? Well, I feel like something's different, but I, it, it's like on the top of my head, but I can't think of it. Huh. I can't really put my <laughs> finger on it, but I definitely feel like there's something different. Hmm. So I saw this hat and I'm like, <gasps> must get it. <laughs> must kill Enderman that it has and track him down and kill him. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you've got a TARDIS on your head. It's true. And <clears throat> I don't know. I guess by the time this comes out, it will be either, it will be almost Christmas time when this comes out. It probably will so, be Christmas so time. So it's Doctor Who Christmas episode. Yeah. Yes. Which you, sir. Which the good thing about the Doctor Who Christmas show, or special, <clears throat> it indicates that the better Sherlock special is coming right around the corner. <sighs> That's what it indicates. You. That's what it, it's what it indicates. It indicates that a really good show is going to be starting very soon. Sherlock. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Apparently, you are not a fan of Doctor Who. I've just never been able to get into it. I've tried. I, I have. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Doctor Who is my jam. I probably lost everybody who's ever watched my channel. I'm fine with it. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly enough, out of all the nerdy stuff, I don't know about you, because you've given me glimpses into your family already, and you have a fairly nerdy family and i, I say what are you, that with as what are you trying to it. say what are you trying no, to I say that with super love yeah i really do mean that yeah and i say this talking about my wife with super love she's not very nerdy yeah um she doesn't it, necessarily get into all that my wife is a huge nerd and it's awesome yeah i'm i miss out a little bit on that unfortunately she is right now playing Minecraft. As you play Minecraft. As I'm playing Minecraft. She's playing on the Xbox. Now, my wife does get into uh, the whole Avengers series. Oh, and cool. The videos that go with that. And she's totally in with Doctor Who. Like, she knew that Doctor Who was going to be starting before I did. She's seen the trailer before I did. Yeah. And she's pumped for it. But outside of that, she's just not a super fan of nerdy stuff. Gaming. I mean, it might make you cry a little bit with this, but she does not like Settlers of Catan. I've never played that. Oh, it's a good game. It's a very much a nerdy capture and control and win, but you can win a hundred different ways, kind of thing. Yeah, sounds fun. I've heard really good things about it, and I have a we have game night at our church every couple of months. Try to have it once a quarter. Um, and somebody always brings Settlers of Catan, but we never play it. Awesome. Made a little bit of a mess. You did. Yeah. Well. Here, are you gonna fix away. it? You gonna fix it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna move all these things over. I got the pulverizer and the sieve. I'm going to move them over, and I'm just going to automate all this stuff straight from the ME system. That sounds fun. What we've been doing up to this point is just I've been transferring it and moving it and slightly annoying. I could have done this part off camera, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's good that you're here doing it, though, now. Oh. So I'm going to use the import and export buses and get those importing. The way I'm thinking about it, and if people are visual people, then hopefully this makes sense. I'm going to set up where there's going to be six pulverizers, and the first pulverizer is going to take stone, cobblestone, and turn it into uh, gravel. Okay. And the second one's going to turn stone into gravel, but then go straight into a third one and turn that one into 
uh, sand. And then there's going to be a fourth one that turns stone into gravel. It goes straight into a fifth one that turns it into sand into straight another one that turns it into dust. Because I figure that the sieves are just going to overpower the system unless they do it that way. And then we will get stuff going straight into there. We should be good. I really think I want to put the... We have this... Um, I don't need to. We have this automatic soul sand generator right here. Have I shown this off to you? No, you have not, actually. Is that what little... the witch water thing is? Yeah, so we got the mycelium here. Yes. And whenever it's next to a barrel, the barrel automatically turns the water into witch water. Witchcraft! And then you put sand in here, and it funnels it into each of these, and it automatically makes soul sand. And you have it looping back into our AE system? or do No, have... right now I just have it looping into here. Okay. Because... It's pretty, I mean, unless you're like wanting so much soul sand that it's ridiculous. I figured no. this would be good for now. Okay. We got bigger fish to fry. We do have bigger fish to fry. It's pulverizers. Only you knew. Only. Only you knew. Only you knew. Uh oh only you knew what I'm doing for you right now. Let's see. So pretty much all this is going to be temporary back here, correct? Yes, yeah. It doesn't have to look pretty. I don't want it to look ugly, but it doesn't have to look pretty. Three, four, five. Five is a good number. I need a ingot. Wait, so gravel, gravel sand, gravel sand. Fortunately, we're going to have to have six down, so that throws everything off. We get sieves. One auto sieve. This will be two. I need more. All right. I love the fact that we have this gooey over here. This gooey? All this stuff. I do. And man, there's so much more that we can do with that. Right? Eventually we're going... So what do you think? How do you want to do this as far as like eventually upgrading all that? Um... Sorry, I'm saying ten things in my head and only saying one out loud. Um, That's okay. How do you how do you want to go about um, setting up the new ME system? Like, is that something we should do on camera or just take care of off camera and then show it off afterwards? Yes. Yes, both. <laughs> I think it's something we should do um, on camera. Okay. I, like, I, I think I think we should definitely kind of record what we're doing there. Okay. Obviously not today. Not today. Hmm. Okay, pink slime. Up. Oh. I don't You're making know. it right now? Yes, I'm trying to, but I don't know how oh. to get it get oh. it out yeah you need to like turn it into a ball yeah how do you do you that to, we, well we got some balls cast? over here you can make a cast for it i don't know let me okay. check there's a pan cast double head cast there's an ingot cast be pan I'll give a pan a try hmm material cost let's give it a try I'll do it all right we'll find another way okay I 
Yeah, that's starting to get outside of my league of things because there's like a whole. I mean, what what do you know about the whole Tinker's constructing when you create things and can upgrade them and upgrade them more and make super weapons? Yeah, man, I uh, my as far as the weapons go, like I've always just kind of stuck with stuff like steel and manilium and all that when it comes to slime like i have no, no experience really it's the first time i've ever used pink slime but just a, just upgrades in general like what all goes with that i have you ever done upgrades like paper and stuff yeah, um, it, you know, most most tools, um, like if you add like the paper aspect to it, it'll add, it'll give you the ability to add more upgrades to it. Um, okay. And then you just come over here in the the forge, and then you can add all sorts of different stuff. If you want it to be faster, you can add redstone. If you want it to uh, heal itself. Guy really is the limit with what you can add to it. You can auto repair. You can um, make them stronger or faster, or mm -hmm. more of like the bolts for the what we're doing with the. Oh, shoot, I need to fix this. Um, with the crossbow, you can get more of the bolts. That's one big one for me. No. Right, I just realized this is going to get super complicated over here, super quick. All right. Everything's powered. That's awesome. I love that these auto sieves have specific Minecraft people in them. So I don't know if you know of any, any of these guys. We've got Pulp John Fiction, J Smart, and Mystic Drew. I have never heard of any of those guys. Me either. All right, help me out with this. Um, uh, glass cable into an item, so I want to add it into there. Needs an export bus, right? You're, if you're wanting to add it in, you need the import. You're, I'm drawing it out of the ME you're drawing system. It, yeah, out would be export. Okay. That's, 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 that's. And I have to define what I'm exporting. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. And on this side. Put all these on. Excellent. Just used up nine import buses. Export buses. This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> this is just like where things just truly thrive. That there. And then let's just go over top. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. But it'll do. Efficient. All right, so we want to get, let's see, sand, and then cobblestone, oops, gravel, and dust. All right, come back around. What do you got going over there? What would you come up with? Nothing yet. Nothing? Nothing. So there's upgrades with these export buses. What do those do? Uh, I believe it just uh, changes the speed at which it comes out. So for something with what I'm doing right now, would we need to do that? No, not right now. Okay. All right, so I got three pulverizing... Um, the cobblestone, two gravel, and one 
sand. You can turn all those into imports on the back. Imports. Oh no, they're all facing the wrong way. Oh, I need a crescent wrench. That'll fix it. Can you turn it? Do you remember how to turn them? No. Uh, I might have to take all these off. Okay. Can't even make a slime binding. Hmm. Actually, on all these buses, I think about it. So let's do this. So we got that. All right. I'm throwing an audible here. Do it. Because I totally forgot that I'm just going to pipe things straight out of this cobblestone generator. All right, so I want to do transfer pipes. Duh. So they're there. Eventually, want to be here, here, here. Beautiful. Like that. Let's make them go this way. I'm talking over here. Are you like, what in the world is he doing? <laughs> of course not. No. No. Hey, you're denying no. it way too hard right now. No. Oh. No. Oh. Right. Maybe just. So it should not be. That, that, and that. Blue. And then orange. I don't actually know if this matters. As far as the configuration for the pulverizers, does it matter? How I do it? What do you mean? Yeah, you can change the, the blue and the, the blue, yellow, red, and orange stuff. It, it does matter as far as uh, blue is the what input. Yep. Or it's the output. So even with the export buses, it still matters? Yeah, you want to have what goes out. Okay. So I set them all. Oops, do that. Beautiful. So this should eventually get cobblestone. It should. Yep, it's going. It's not exporting though. Do I have to specify what the export is? You will want to. Um, well, if if you're yeah, if you're able to just kind of if everything that you want coming out of it, you're wanting mm -hmm. to go into the pulverizer, then no, you don't. But well, if there's only certain things out. that you want coming out of it. Then yes, you need to specify. No, I want everything to come out. Yeah, you're good. Um. So those are set up. It is doing the cobblestone. It is got that, but it's not taking them out for some reason. Mm. And the sieves and do dust there. Oh, it's already doing that. 
sweet sand and that one that's going that one's not going hmm not sure I'll I think I'm gonna troubleshoot this off camera but I think everything's set up it just need we need to troubleshoot a little bit I think over here we're good to go now okay not wanting to see dirt, right? Mm, I don't think so. If we should be a just reason do it by to hand or yeah, so one generic one. Okay. So now I need to take care of all of this. I can do all this off camera because it is officially time, sir. Oh, okay. No. We got. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. I don't have any bolts yet. Oh. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Can I can I see it just to show it off? You sure can. There you go. Sweet. Let me see with this. So you can actually increase your skill, which is cool, and it automatically upgrades it when you improve your skill level. Its durability is three thousand. Yeah. Is that a fat? So when it's green, that means it's a great draw speed. Yeah. Um, let me see it. Yeah. Because right now it's a uh, four point six. Uh, that's that's kind of slow, as far as the draw goes. Okay. If we if we remaining, it says. Yeah, if we had a different um, the cross the actual bow part of it. Yeah. Um, it would go faster, but it's a pretty rigid crossbow. I mean, it's it's going to be pretty slow. Okay. Um, but the next one that we make. Hey. Oops. There you go. Well, I think we'll end it here. Okay. You guys, we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya.